in the previous episode, we got into hard mode and attempted cryogen. Got a bunch of extra gear, like early hard, hard mode gear. But, you know, we determined that we're not quite uh, good enough yet for cryogen. Not that cryogen is too difficult. We're going to do him in due time, probably today. But uh, our, our weapon just doesn't really work for this. So our weapon has got like a really slow projectile on it. It's kind of cr crushing my, my spirit on that particular fight because cryogen moves around a lot. I got a bunch of weapon suggestions, um, but what we're going to do is we're going to try to go up here. <laughs> um, I need a, I need a rope. I need, I need rope. Do I have rope in my inventory? I used to. I don't anymore. I might have it in my piggy bank. Nope. I think I got it in here. Okay. Let's go rope. Yeah, we got plenty. Cool. We're going to make, <laughs> we're going to make a way up there. Uh, might be faster to just go to this one. Let's do that, because it's in a it's in a spot that I feel like is in a bit uh, more accessible location. And I need it raining in order to get this particular weapon. Oh my goodness, I forgot that we're in an updated version of Terraria where ropes go through platforms. It's a miracle. It's a miracle, everybody. Um, so yeah, I, I just don't like this weapon. You guys recommended this one that comes from Storm Elementals. Ooh, that brings a lot of... Uh, Painful memories back, honestly. The Storm Elemental is one of those things that you have to farm later for a particular item if you want, um, oh my goodness, not you, a particular uh, accessory, which is fine. You know, I think it's cool to to get that. Oh, I didn't remember what it's called. It's like the something of the elements accessory. Totally fine with it. It's a cool accessory, but it just takes a long time to farm out. And that's a problem, but uh, I, I in the past have spent a long time killing these dang elementals. So I'm looking forward to, to getting past this. I mean, the good news is while we're farming this out, I will also be getting feathers and uh, that will allow us to get some wings as well because uh, we'll, we'll get wings from having the souls of flight and the feathers from the harpies. So yeah, that's, there's, there's a lot going on, but it should be okay. I think it's technically still raining. I think so. Let's double check. Let's let's fall down a bit. Um, yes, it is. Okay, cool. So it is raining. We should be able to get the storm elementals to pop up. So I moved islands. I moved off over to the left over here because the, the other one I just was not getting anything to spawn at, which is not good when you're trying to farm out enemies. So we're just going to sit here and wait for more stuff. Getting a lot of essence of sunlight, which is something I don't really think I can use right this moment. Well, or, eh, soon, though, like after the the mechanical bosses, I can make that. Oh, that, that rogue item was really stupid cool. Ooh, the Cosmolite. Oh, man, the Cosmolite is, like, <laughs> really, really good. Um, I'm going to make sure that I make one of those because that's really nice to have. The Living Dew, which we I don't think we could quite make yet, but, you know, that's something. Flask of Crumbling, Melee. Whip and rogue attacks inflict crumbling on enemies. It's pretty good. We can make a uh, full set of that if we get enough with the essence, honestly. Yeah, we just gotta just gotta wait for enemies. It's kind of annoying, honestly. Um, the the spawn rate seems to be pretty annoying right now. Like it, it feels really low. So maybe I go get a Zerg potion or something as well. I do want to take the time and quickly thank all of the new people who've, who've shown up to the channel. We got a lot of new people in on this series, and that's always exciting. Uh, so welcome. Glad I'm glad you're here. We're going to have some fun. <laughs> um, if, if you're jumping in on this episode, this is your first episode, man, you're in for a ride. Go go back and watch the previous like 10 episodes or whatever it is um, and, and start from the beginning. It's great. Otherwise, you know what? Just have fun with this episode. <laughs> and if you're if you're been here since the beginning, then you know, more more power to you. I'm trying to upload quite a few of these a week. Um I was doing a an alternating schedule with, with Baldur's Gate 3. Um, but I'm gonna be doing a little bit more Terraria just to kind of push to to get a little further into hard mode and whatnot and post moon lord before the holidays really start kicking in so this uh this upcoming week is thanksgiving in the u.s which is cool it's exciting ooh, ooh, there's our first storm elemental please give me the sword i don't want to be doing this forever <laughs> um but that means that my time gets pretty limited around this uh this time of year just because i have 
a lot of family things going on. So I kind of want to get a little deeper into hard mode first. That way, you know, when the holidays come around, I'm a little bit more focused. I'm like, yeah, let's let's do this one boss. You know, it's like, let's let's kill Cygnus or, you know, whatever. Um, Providence. Like, there's, there's a bunch of bosses that we, we get in Calamity. And that way I can kind of focus certain things down as opposed to feeling like where I'm at right now, where I'm just kind of like farming random stuff. When I'm doing this, my motivation to play the game goes down a lot. And oh my goodness, all these guys. And uh, when that happens, it's not good because it means that we'll get less episodes in a week. Oh my goodness, these guys are so annoying. <laughs> I forgot how much I hated the stupid storm things. All right, go back this way. Oh, they do so much damage. Look, look, this is this is not cool, bros. It's not cool. There we go. Okay, you, your turn. Oh no, why is there a blood moon? Oh, this is the worst timing. <laughs> Get out of my booty. Thank you. Okay. Oh, there's a lot going on here. I, you know what? I complained about the farming aspect, and then they were just like, yo, dog. We heard you don't like the farming part of this, so we're just gonna spawn everything. Why is there a wyvern? <laughs> Kill the wyvern, please. Actually, if I get this wyvern dead, I can make some harpy wings. Because I got... Oh, there's so much crap. Because I got harpy... Um, I got the, the great harpy ring thing. Oh my goodness, go away from me. I hate these guys so much. There's just... It's endless. It is endless. <laughs> I gotta end this event. But speaking of the holidays, and I ended the blood moon. Um, we got to go to Costco today. We go to Costco like... Uh, once every like one and a half week we go through Costco a lot <laughs> like Literally, I, I would average it about two weeks every two weeks, but I would Realistically, it's about one and a half weeks um, And we spend a lot of money there just because you know, we got a big family and It's way cheaper to feed the whole family by by shopping at Costco than it is to do everywhere else now We're on the east coast of the US. So if you're in the rest of the world um, You need to understand that the United States is so big so big that we have shops like chain shops um such as like uh like grocery stores that are on one side of the u.s and not the other um we have a lot of fast food chains that are like that as well like in and out burger west coast thing totally west coast thing that's why when i went to blizzcon man i i was i was craving in and out burger as someone who grew up on the west coast so i uh Man, that was like the first thing I tried to do was go eat In-N-Out Burger. I eventually did um, on my way back when I w went to Nevada to to visit some friends because they had an In-N-Out Burger there. I went with my mom. <laughs> Met with my mom and first thing we do, go to In-N-Out Burger. <laughs> that's what it is. I love that place. Well, probably one of my favorite fast food chains. Anyways, so there are grocery stores the same way. So w w when I'm talking to people on the East Coast and I say Publix, they know what that is. Uh, when I'm talking to people on the West Coast, they're like, what's that? Like, you made that up. That's not a real place. <laughs> and it's just the size of the US. It's just how it, how it tends to work. Now, the good news is though, uh, when we're going and doing our grocery shopping, Publix is a pretty nice place to go shop. In fact, it's actually one of the best places in the United States to work, apparently. Um, you get a lot of benefits and there's a lot of uh, upward movement within the company and a, and a bunch of other stuff. So. We, we like to shop there. It's good. Got good food. But we only get, like, little things from Publix. Like, I don't know. Like, um... What's a good example? Like, some produce. Like, uh... Like, bananas. Bananas, whatever. You're paying the same or less from uh, Publix than you are going to, like, Costco and getting bananas. My point here is... When we take our Costco run like once every one and a half weeks, it's kind of a bit of an adventure Especially at this time of year. This is my favorite time of year to go to uh, Costco Because they have all the Christmas stuff out now and it's not just like Christmas decoration stuff. It's like all of their treats as well like like fancy truffles and um, Like I get the the, the chocolate dusted um, the cocoa powder dusted chocolate truffles I forgot the brand name of them, but they're so good. I get them every year. Um, and we just get like boxes of like fancy chocolates, imported chocolates and whatnot for gifts for other people. And I just love walking through all of that. It's one of my favorite things to do. And they have like all of the, uh, the butter cookies and stuff like that. It's great. It's great. So that's what I did today is I went to Costco. And then you know what I did? 
Uh, we did family movie night. We're going to skip over family movie night stuff. That, none of that matters. We watched uh, Elf, right? Getting into the holiday spirit. But we also, as soon as the kids went to bed, because I, I had it shipped to me, and then I waited for for us to be done with family movie night because we got home from the stores and everything way too late. Uh, I popped in Super Mario RPG on my Switch, and that's what I've just been doing for the rest of the day. I freaking love that game. It's one of my favorite games. Uh, I played, I've played through that game at least twice, possibly three times from start to finish. Um, I also need to make sure it's raining. That's one thing I wasn't doing. You got, you guys probably have already called me out on that in the comments. Um, but yeah, it is, it is such a good game and it stands the test of time. It really does. Um, I played that game originally when it like first came out, like within the first year of it being out on the, uh, Super Nintendo. It... Yeah, it's it was transformative, I think, to say the least for me. It did a really good job of showing me what, um, what RPGs can really be. Like, I had played a Final Fantasy at that point. I don't remember which one. But Super Mario RPG was just like, yeah, it, it changed the course of my life in a weird way. Because that's, that's what got me really into RPGs. And that says a lot, because now I'm over here like playing like Baldur's Gate and designing my own tabletop RPG and 3D printing minis and and uh, painting them and like that's that's my main source of of business. That's my that's my uh, my small business that I own and run. It's like none of that would have happened if not for Super Mario RPG, which is the dumbest thing to say, but it's so true. So all that to say, I've I've been playing the heck out of it tonight. I've been really enjoying it. Um, it runs great on the Switch. It looks great on the Switch, especially my OLED model. Um, yeah, it also looks good on the TV. It's, it's like exactly the game as I remember it, minus some minor uh, improvements. Like the game automatically now saves whenever you change a zone. Um, they still have the normal save points that you had before, like little boxes that you jump on. But they have, you know... A, much better checkpoint system, I would say, just in case. Like if your switch dies in the middle of you playing or something like that, it it's a little bit better. So you're not getting like thrown way back if, if something terrible happens. Um, and then the they like really play on the fact that you can um, switch back and forth between the different musics. Like so you could go to the original uh, music that they had for the original game, which, you know, it's, it's really good. It stands up. In fact, I was showing my wife that. I was like, oh, look, they have the original music. I pop it on. She's like, that sounds like what it was just playing. I was like, no, 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 no. And then I switched back. She's like, oh, it's more orchestrated. I see. Like, the, the new stuff has obviously got a lot better. Uh, like, more sound channels and whatnot to it. It's like, yeah, because the old stuff had to fit on a cartridge. <laughs> um, with the, the whole game and everything. So it's just, it's a, it's a fun experience. If you get a chance to play it, I recommend it, especially if you like JRPGs. I'm going to be honest, I'm already bored of trying to farm these. I've been, I've been at this a bit, so we're going to head back real quick. Um, I'm going to auto-dump those in. Um, we're going to get that in there. I'm going to make some wings real quick. So why can't I make the harpy wings? I thought I could. What am I missing? Nothing. Why can't I make them? I'm very confused. Um, why won't it let me make? Oh, I need the mithril anvil. Right. So I can't even make good wings yet. Hey, that sucks. Okay. Understandable though. Let's go ahead and drop the rest of the stuff in the stash. Um, and then I'm gonna head over here, and we're gonna try cryogen again. I am gonna turn off the storm though. Because someone had mentioned that it's possible that this boss fight might be a bit easier at night with the um, projectiles. And you know what? I, th I think I think I could see that. Oh my goodness. Nah, not with the snow and everything. <laughs> Maybe I could turn off the rain. Can, I, can we do that again? And see, let's see if that actually like functions or if this is just like a boss thing. Because it does make it really hard to see these damn projectiles. I think, I think I could probably do this boss with what we got. It's just a matter of, it's gonna take a while. My DPS isn't hyper good right now, considering it's hard to hit with this weapon and this boss is so fast. Oh, well, 
You know what? We've dodged more than we did in the previous attempt, so... <laughs> I guess you can't deny that. It's definitely working. But whether that's because of the darkness or not, I don't know. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna knock it. We haven't gotten hit in a bit. So, oh, well, got ran into. That's fine. Actually, probably didn't even need to heal there. I think that was fairly unnecessary. Oh yeah, let's put the little like frost things down. I forgot about that. That, that does cause some issues because they fire off the projectiles. That makes it a little bit more difficult. Should I charge the boss when he does that? I'm not sure. I also need to try to hit with the, the palladium weapon if I get an opportunity, because that gives me quite a bit extra regen. It's just hard to hit with, especially when he's doing things like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Also, does, is he speeding up? When I'm pulling him out of biome? It's tough because we have such a small ice biome. I almost have a heal though. I almost have a heal. Let's just, let's get that heal in. Let's loop back around. Come on. Just like a second left. There we go. Got the heal. Oh my goodness. Where is he at? <laughs> I feel like I'm doing no damage whatsoever. I really got to hit him. With the uh, adrenaline. Maybe go in with like a, a couple actual like true melee hits. Yeah, I mean, that does a lot of damage when I hit with it. But not enough. <laughs> this is going to go on forever. The music and everything is like messing up on this fight. I remember doing this in the previous Calamity run. But I've been at this for a bit now. If we kill it, I'm just leaving the whole fight in, I guess. But I am honestly 100% relying on... Oh my goodness. On uh, rage and adrenaline damage. Because I just don't feel like I'm doing any damage outside of that crap I messed that up. It was going pretty well and then I got slowed down. I needed a warmth potion. I think that may have helped a little bit. There are so many projectiles. Uh-oh. I think I'm about to die. There's so many projectiles. They're very hard to dodge. I'm not doing any damage because I'm having to focus on dodging. And I'm just kind of aiming mindlessly. No, crap. Keep it together. Ugh, damn it. We got pretty close there, though. Hey, I got it. That was my, uh, my next, my next thing that I killed. I don't know what it does. It looks like it shoots things from the sky. <laughs> all right, we'll, we'll, we'll check it out in just a second. Let me, let me collect all my loot here. Cause there was other stuff then. Yeah. I got the guardian eye of the storm, baby. Um, if you don't know, that's, I'm pretty sure that's one of the items that I was looking for too. So some of the cloud elemental to fight for you. Yep. That's the one. That's the one. And of course that goes, is there another one here? Oh, heck yeah. May as well, right? I don't know what this weapon does, but let's do it. I hope, <laughs> I hope this weapon is able to make up for any like lack of damage that I've been facing on the uh, cryogen. See if we can get in here with some. You know what? Gonna be honest. It's okay. At least right now against this. My, my other weapon, like flat melee like this was doing a bit better as you can see there and maybe it's about the same hard to tell honestly i got another storm saber though so what does it do fires two homing storm beams uh, one from blade and one from sky homing okay perfect exactly what we need <laughs> we've been looking for that oh i see yeah it's like a cross thing okay cool um let's go reforge this right it's uh priority right this moment so we're gonna let's reforge this one huh uh murderous pretty good i can uh yeah okay there's our godly so we'll go with that finally replace that weapon i guess why am i on my mount <laughs> hit the wrong button apparently cool well that feels real good so this uh storm elemental it goes into the heart of the elements which is what i was talking about which is just honestly stupid good now I'm really tempted to use the cloud elemental because, well, again, it's kind of stupid good and replace it with this. I think that might be better. Mostly because I'm not actually sure the boss is being affected 
by uh, Hellfire anyway, so. Yeah, all right, let's do this. Uh, oh my goodness, I cannot see a thing. <laughs> I'm, I'm really hoping this weapon is the key to unlock what we needed here, though. It already feels like I'm doing slightly more damage. Doing about 500 DPS, whereas before it was just so hard to hit. But it was basically zero, so. Yeah, let's see how this goes. Oh my goodness. Okay, that was going better. That was going better. I just need to play better. It's also really hard to see all of the projectiles. Literally all of them. <laughs> oh, it's so annoying. I'm going to turn off the rain for a moment and go try that again. Okay, I think I'm done doing cryogen for today. <laughs> I don't know quite what I need to change, but what I will say is I I think that my issue remains from previous versions of Cryogen. They have resprited some of the stuff, but fundamentally the boss stuff is just too hard to see. And the fact that they constantly have the storm going when you spawn the boss because they want like a blizzard effect or whatever it is, um, it just makes it kind of impossible to see this stuff. And maybe that's just a me thing, but I've always been that way with this boss fight. No matter what kind of sprite thing they've done to it, it still remains impossible to see. And then on top of that, you have the added issue of using like an omniscience potion or a danger sense potion or whatever it is, hunter potion. It doesn't help. <laughs> it actually makes them the issue worse. It makes it significantly worse. I tried it. So yeah, I, I really dislike Cryogen as a boss. And like me, let's put my designer hat on, right? For those of you who are new to the channel, I've worked in game design for some time and game design is one of my passions. So I'm going to put my designer hat on for a second and say, um, if, if there is a boss that I have designed that I want people to enjoy or for it to even be difficult, but still be something that, you know, feels like you can overcome. Um, however, my boss, is, my boss design inherently from the sprites, like the art aspect of it, not the boss design. I think the boss design is fine, but the art aspect of it, just not being able to see necessarily what's going on. Um, if that was causing an issue with players, that would be a number one priority to fix for me, because it's like, I want everybody to be able to enjoy the fight and to be able to do it. But for whatever reason, all any changes they've ever made to this fight, it's just made that situation worse for me. Um, and I'm just not enjoying Cryogen right now. And I don't like I don't need any sympathy for that. It's just this is this is the way that they've designed the boss. And unfortunately, it kind of sucks that it's that way that the art uh, assets on it make it so you can't actually see what's going on. But, but that's in addition to it always having to have a, a blizzard. Stop. Don't do that. It's, it's making it harder to see. If you want to make it so visibility is low because you're fighting in a blizzard, okay, that's fine. Just make it so there aren't a million tiny projectiles that blend in with the background and the rest of the art going on because um, it, it makes the fight not fun. You know, the reason why Elden Ring, the reason why Dark Souls, the reason why... Uh, some hardcore rating in World of Warcraft is fun from a difficulty sense is because you feel like you're overcoming a thing. You see the path that you need to take. You see the improvements that you need to make and getting to the end is the the fun part of that. Like, yay, I overcame this boss. It feels really fun to do that. Um, in this case, it feels like what's holding me back is their own design on art assets. And this happens, and I chose this uh, particular example for a reason. This happens in World of Warcraft where you have like a an area of effect spell that's like being thrown on the ground that you need to move out of. And based on what the art looks like in the game, you're not standing in it at all, but apparently you have a toe in it and it's just not very clear. And games like Wildstar back in the day did a really good job of this. They had a telegraph system. It showed very clearly where things were, where you should stand, where you can't stand. And, um, and that design philosophy has stuck with me. Uh, since I played Wildstar and, and now that I've played a game like that, that that understands that concept of of making things visible 
because let's make let's make things really difficult sure but let's also make it so that the player can see what's going on. let's not cheat the player out of the experience like, let them see what they need to be dodging make it very very clear and then you can ramp difficulty up an insane amount like i said about like elden ring and whatnot this is a, this is an issue here this is definitely a problem with this boss and I've, i think i gave my feedback on this the previous attempts at this boss back when i did summoner and uh and rogue and i think even way back when when i did my mage playthrough of calamity said so this boss is so hard to see and that in my opinion it needs to be updated like asap above all other sprites because yeah, the projectiles are just impossible. And if I'm having an issue with it, which I generally don't have an issue with this kind of stuff, um, then I know I'm not the only one. So sound off in the comments if you also have an issue seeing all the freaking projectiles on this fight. Doing it at night didn't help. Doing it during the day didn't help. Um, it's just that blizzard darkens everything and you just cannot see the projectiles, period. <laughs>